Well, now don't be shocked at what you see because this is kind of what I call, you're seeing me in the raw. I just had my shower and I washed my hair. So I'm gonna roll my hair. I don't think you'll mind if I do my hair while we talk. I'll tell you a little story. It's not much of a story, but it's something to talk about while I do my hair. In the first place, I had a new perm about three weeks ago. It's a soft perm, as you can see, and had it cut a little bit. My problem is, in doing my own hair, my arms are short and I can't reach the back of my head too good, so I don't do what you call a beauty shop job of my hair. Now, you're seeing me, like I said, I'm in the rough right now. No makeup, no nothing. We're not going to do a makeup job because I'm not very good at that. And I haven't even put any moisturizer on my face yet. So you just kind of turn your head if you want to and you can listen. You don't have to watch. I'm going to start rolling my hair. And while I'm rolling my hair, I'll tell you my story. So this happened in England. I'd taken a trip to England with one of my friends, and we were staying in a uh, old, oh, it was a real old hotel. I think it was called the Edson Hotel, and it was just two blocks from the uh, train station. That hotel was so old, it still had the mohair sofas in the lobby, and the stairway going up to the different floors was curved and had big brass rails. Oh, they you could tell it was all old, very old. And the furniture looked like it was from the 30s and 40s. Good looking furniture, of course. But we got into our room and, and uh, we were sharing one little room. I don't know if you call it an efficiency because it had a had a kitchen just big enough for an apartment sized stove and a tiny sink and it had uh, a little oven well no I don't think it had an oven because we would buy our bread and things at the market and we would put our bread in a skillet and brown our bread like toast. And only one of us could get into the kitchen at a time because it was that small. And the funny thing was, I always had orange juice for breakfast. My friend always was coffee drinker. And I had to have ice in my orange juice. The little uh, ice tray would hold just enough cubes for one glass. I mean, you didn't get much ice, so. And I would, sometimes I would put my soft drinks, my little soft drink in close to the little, little bitty freezer section about this big, you know, slide one little bitty tray in there. So we did our breakfast in the apartment, I call it an apartment. It was a big room with twin beds and it had one window. We were, I think, on the third floor and you could look down over a garden that somebody had just started the garden. Cause this was in the spring and we could see where they'd been digging and, and preparing for their plants. So, the bathroom, oh, the bathroom was amazing. It had those heated rods on the wall where when you finished with your wet towels, you hung the towels over the, the rod and they would dry real fast. You could do your lingerie in the sink, then hang it on those rods and they'd be dry. everything would be dry in the morning when you wanted to wear it. The tub must have been at least six or eight feet long, the biggest clawfoot tub I'd ever seen. 
but it was so much fun taking your bath in that tub and you had the pedestal sink. It was all very old stuff. So, in the bedroom, we didn't have a closet for our clothes. They, there was just a wardrobe. So my friend, she's in the bathroom doing her thing, getting ready, we're going somewhere. And I have done, washed my hair and I'm sitting on the side of the bed rolling my hair. Now you know that when you go overseas, you have to have adapters for your um, curling irons and things because the, the, electric, the electric outlets and all are different than what we have. So I had brought a little case with adapters in it. And my friend said, I'll plug it in for you so you can use your curling iron. She plugged it in for me. And I'm sitting on the side of the bed doing my hair. I can see in the mirror, you know, they had those long mirrors on those wardrobes. So I'm looking in the mirror, doing, pulling my hair up, you know, and I've got the curling iron. And I see smoke. Wait a minute, this iron, curling iron too hot. She, she's like this. And I've got that curling iron on, and I've rolled it down, and I like this, only I was using curling iron. And it looked like smoke. Well, I undid it. Woo. That adapter, I think the wrong adapter, got the wrong one. It's burning my hair. Well, stupid me, instead of checking out the uh, adapters and trying another one, I took my curl like this. I put my curling iron around it. And I roll it down to my head and smoke, smoke. I couldn't get it loose fast enough. And when I did, I had cut my hair off clear to the scalp. It had burnt my hair off. Two curls right on top of my head, cut off to the scalp. What was I going to do? Didn't wasn't very thick on top anyway. Boy, I was in trouble. Well, I had sense enough to unplug the curling iron. I, I don't remember what I did after that to get my hair curled. But anyway, I managed. And later that day, it had been raining wet and you know how yucky it can be when you're walking in the rain and everything. We're on a train. We're coming back to the hotel. Everything quiet except for the motion of the train. And I leaned over and I whispered to my friend, I think I smell my hair. She leaned over and went, yeah, you do. It was burnt, wet, burnt. Had that burn smell, awful, awful. We had to put up with it. I thought, now the other passengers on the train are gonna be wondering what is that weird smell coming from that lady across the aisle? Well, I don't know, but I think burning my hair off the top of my head like that had an effect on the rest of my hair. Because after that trip, my hair got so thin on top, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like a bald-headed man. 
it just keeps coming out. I'm going to end up a bald-headed man. Yep, people are going to get me confused. My hair to this day, now that's been 10 or 12 years ago. My hair today is still so thin on top that you can see the pink scalp. You know what I'm talking about. If you're my age, you're looking at a pink scalp too. It's not a pretty thing to see. You can see I'm not very good at rolling hair. I just figure if I get it up there and get it dry, that's as good as I can do, and I'll manage with it. So, at least it's saving me $40. I'm the only one in my family that never went to the beauty shop every week. All of my sisters, every Saturday morning, they went to the beauty shop. Now, I, I, I remember one time my oldest sister, oh, she had beautiful hair. And she's the one that um, had her own cape, had her own comb and brush, her own curlers, everything at the beauty shop. And, and the lady that ran the shop kept her things back in another room and nobody else was allowed to use her equipment except her. She didn't dare that something. Uh, the beautician do her hair with a comb that somebody else had used. That's the kind of person she was. Well, I had gone home for the weekend, and my oldest sister, she had been to the beauty shop already. She looked at me, and she said, Pat, if you'd like to have your hair done today, I'll pay for it. I looked at her and I said, does my hair look that bad? And she said, oh, no, 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 I didn't mean, any, I didn't mean anything like that. I just thought maybe you might like to go to the beauty shop and have your hair done. And I said, I know, I know my hair looks bad and you don't want to be seen on the street with me. Oh no, oh no, your hair looks fine. It looks fine. Well, I got a kick out of that because I'd, I'd really hit the nail on the head. I knew I had, but she was trying to back out of it and I, I was enjoying her misery, you might call it. She was an immaculate, immaculate person. Everything was done just right. And her hair always looked nice. And she wore hats to church every Sunday. Didn't matter what the style was. She wore her hat and she wore her white gloves. She was dressed to the nines, you might say. So I'm going to keep rolling my hair. You can watch me. Oh, that's such fun. Yeah. Me and my hair. I might even let you see what it looks like later when it dries and I get a little bit of makeup on. Now, you certainly don't want me to do makeup in front of you because I don't have the right kinds. My granddaughter, I was at her little B&B &B house the other day and a friend of hers was there. We were talking about uh, moisturizing creams and I was telling her the kind that I used and was like, oh, she raised an eyebrow. And I said, you know, the last time I bought it, I ordered six jars at one time. She looked at me and she said, well, you know, it does expire. I said, yeah, I know it, but it's still good as long as I'm using it. I don't worry about it expiring. I just use it anyway. So I'm down to the sixth, sixth jar. 
and I need to order more moisturizer. And you know what? I think they've discontinued that one. What am I going to do now? I've got to start with a new, a new moisturizer. And it's hard to find cosmetic that you really like. Last nail polish I bought was the tiniest little bottle you ever saw. Cost me $30. And when I got home, started using it. Didn't like the color, and it didn't cover good. I had to put three coats. And that little bottle was just about that big. Well, I can't even show you how big. It was, a, it was mostly cap and bottle. And you got a little bit of polish inside. Well, I'm doing pretty good so far. You're staying with me, I hope, on this. Now, I've got to get to the back of my head. That's not the easy part. I get all twisted up here and can't reach the back. But I stay with it till I get it done. I've been doing this for years now. Every now and then it looks good. The rest of the time I just don't look in the mirror too much. If you know what I mean. I'm trying to think of something. I went to, the other day I went to my, my granddaughter Uh, bought a little house and she it's one of those art deco style houses oh she worked so hard on that she painted and she hammered and she did whatever had to be done to get the house in order because she was going to turn it into a B&B &B. and she was doing a good job really good job everything looked very Art Deco. And she was out buying used furniture. You know, you have to hunt that stuff. You don't always find it, but she, she was had a good luck with her furniture buying and the, her chandeliers were just gorgeous. So time passes, things happen and She's living in Louisville, and her B&B &B is here in Lexington. So she got to a few changes in life. She's going to have to sell the B&B, &B. partly because it's not easy to keep up something like that when you live somewhere else. So she sold the B&B, &B and selling the furniture too, because actually anybody that liked the house would want the style of furniture in it that she had bought. And she had good taste. She'd done a good job. And while I was there, a young friend was there. This young friend is uh, a student at the university and she's studying computer. Oh boy, right up my alley. I just happened to take my iPad with me. And I said, I think you can help me. And did she help me? She also gave me her email address. She gave me her phone number. And I can notify her by private message. And she's going to come and help me learn a few things that I can use on YouTube that will be helpful. Some changes I can make and add on to my YouTube channel. And I'll be able to entertain you so much better when I learn how to do these things. And I told her, I said, now write it down. Write down everything that you tell me because by the time I get home, I won't remember what you said. So she was doing that and she said, you call me anytime and I'll come over and we'll 
plan these new programs for you. Now, folks, things are going to be changing and looking up for me. Oh, I just can't wait till she teaches me some of the things she knows, and she does know what she's talking about. That just tickled the life out of me to get to meet this young lady. And we're going to be really close friends in the near future. And I'm going to have to find a way of uh, reciprocating her good deeds. And I think I can. I think I can. So, now I've got my hair done. Well, I need one more curl right over here. Got to get this little edge right here. Now, I don't have to do it much in the back because it's cut real short, just the way I wanted it. Now, I'll be able to, uh, when I learn how to split and how to pause my videos, I'll be able to come back and you'll watch me take my hair down and you'll watch me fix it. But I'm not going to do that today because I haven't learned how to do it yet. But that's the way it's going to be in the future. You get to see what I'm doing now and then you'll get to see what I'm doing later and I get to put them together and you see it all at once. I'm so excited and I know she's going to teach me a lot. Now, I have worked on monetizing my channel. Jan is doing that for me. Gosh, I don't know how these girls remember so much. They are so smart nowadays. It, it just amazes me how much their brains can hold. And I'm just trying to absorb a little at a time. And Jan always says, you did write it down, didn't you? Yes, I wrote it down, but I don't remember where I wrote it. <laughs> so, so that's how far we get with all of my instructions. This isn't the best video you're going to see on YouTube. It's not going to win any awards. But as I said, you're going to see me right down to the raw thing. No makeup. See the wrinkles? See the red eyes? The thin hair? And the turkey gaggle. I just don't know what to do about that. I know Betty Davis and... Uh, I can remember some of the old, old movie stars that would come on talk shows. And if you ever noticed, they had scarves wrapped around their necks, right up to the chin. Well, we know what that was for. They were aging, and they were trying to hide the wrinkles in their neck. Well, I've got a short neck, and if I start wrapping my scarves around the neck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like a turtle. You know, like a turtle with its head stuck up out. Now, isn't that cute? Yes. Don't sit there and laugh at me. <laughs> you probably do the same thing. Next time you see me, I'm going to be pretty. I'm going to have my makeup on and my hair done. So, you just hang in there. And I've shown you how it, quick and easy. I roll my hair, and I've used these same little old wire curlers for years and years. And I guess I'll still be using them. I can even sleep in them. Remember those great big Coke can curlers the girls would put in their hair? Of course, they had real long hair. But how do you sleep on something like that? Oh, I've told you enough already. It's time for me to get my clothes on and see what I can do in the kitchen. I can do a little bit of damage in there, too, while I'm at it, while my hair is drying. So you take care today, and I appreciate you watching me through this, what do you want to call it, fiasco. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll be with you again soon. You just keep watching because I depend on you to watch me. And I want to keep you coming back. Thanks a bunch.